Bacteria adapt to changes in their surroundings by using regulatory proteins to turn groups of genes on and off in response to various environmental signals. Francois Jacob and Jacques Mounod received the Nobel Prize for their experiments, which increased our basic understanding of how the lactose metabolizing genes are regulated in E. coli. There are three structural protein coding genes involved in lactose metabolism in E. coli. These three lac genes are organized into the lac operon. An operon is a cluster of genes along with an adjacent promoter and operator that control the transcription of those genes. When the structural genes in an operon are transcribed, a single mRNA is produced. This mRNA is said to be polycystronic because it carries the information for more than one type of protein. LACZ plus encodes beta-galactosidase, which breaks down lactose into glucose and galactose. LACY plus encodes lactose permease, which transports lactose into the cell. LAC-A plus encodes transacetylase, whose function is not fully understood. The operator LAC-O plus is a short region of DNA that lies partially within the promoter and that interacts with the regulatory protein that controls the transcription of the operon. The regulatory gene LAC-I plus produces an mRNA from which is synthesized a repressor protein that can bind to the operator of the LAC operon. The general term for the product of a regulatory gene is a regulatory protein. The LAC regulatory protein is called a repressor because it keeps RNA polymerase from transcribing the structural genes. In the absence of lactose, the LAC repressor binds to the operator and keeps RNA polymerase from transcribing the LAC genes. When lactose is present, small amounts of it are converted to an isomer called allolactose, which acts as an inducer to turn on the LAC genes. The LAC genes are expressed because allolactose binds to the LAC repressor protein, changing its shape so that it cannot bind to the LAC operator. RNA polymerase can then bind to the promoter and transcribe the LAC genes. Glucose is the preferred and most frequently available energy source for E. coli. Whenever glucose is present, E. coli metabolizes it before using alternative energy sources such as lactose, arabinose, galactose, and maltose. The enzymes to metabolize glucose are made constantly by E. coli. When both glucose and lactose are available, the genes for lactose metabolism are transcribed, but at such a slow rate that lactose is metabolized only slowly. This is because of a mechanism called catabolite repression, glucose effect, which functions to turn the lac operon off even though lactose is present. Only when the supply of glucose has been exhausted does E. coli increase the transcription of the lac genes and begin to metabolize lactose rapidly. The presence or absence of glucose affects the LAC operon by affecting the concentration of cyclic AMP. Cyclic AMP is synthesized from ATP in a reaction catalyzed by adenylate cyclase. Cyclic AMP is then broken down in a reaction catalyzed by phosphodiesterase. The concentration of cyclic AMP in E. coli is inversely proportional to the concentration of glucose. As the concentration of glucose decreases, the concentration of cyclic AMP increases. In the presence of lactose and the absence of glucose, cyclic AMP accumulates and joins with a receptor protein called the catabolite activator protein, CAP. The resulting CAP cyclic AMP complex binds to the CAP site in the LAC promoter. This increases the rate of transcription of the LAC operon structural genes by enhancing the binding of RNA polymerase to the promoter. When glucose is abundant in the cell, catabolite repression occurs, regardless of the concentration of lactose also present. High levels of glucose cause the levels of cyclic AMP to be reduced. This results in insufficient CAP cyclic AMP complex to bind to the CAP site, which in turn does not facilitate RNA polymerase attachment to the promoter, so only a very low level of transcription can occur.
This occurs even though repressor proteins are removed from the operator site due to the presence of lactose. Once the glucose runs out, cyclic AMP levels increase and transcription of the LAC operon is enhanced as we saw earlier. The CAP cyclic AMP complex is said to be a transcriptional activator because the rate of transcription is increased by the complex. In other words, there is positive control of the LAC operon by this system in addition to the negative control by the repressor system. Catabolite repression also is seen for a number of other operons that encode enzymes for the metabolism of various sugars.